The little misfit wants to make friends and approaches the big males too. The males are his best line of defense and worth befriending. He's ignored, as usual. So he returns to his mother for milk. Late for breakfast, the teenagers finally saunter in. They've been out causing mayhem all night. The little cub approaches the adolescents. He clearly wants to make friends, but the gang on the edge of adulthood are dangerous. Their instincts are muddled, unpredictable, sometimes playful cub, sometimes lethal hunter. Still, perhaps it's something to hang out with the big boys. When his mother calls, he wanders back. Over time, the pride move around their 25 square mile territory, following their prey and checking for intruders. They stop regularly and snooze for much of each day. A growl could be a reprimand for wandering off, or a warning. At one resting place are the remains of a puku antelope. The older cubs are beginning to eat meat, in this case, the stolen scraps of a leopard kill. They're about three months old now, and this is mostly about training developing hunting instincts and slowly moving their digestion from milk to meat. The loner just needs some confidence to join in and catch up. The meat's only a first taster and they're suckling more than ever. The mothers share the nursing of all the cubs. It's called aloe suckling, but six cubs are hard work. Each lioness only has four nipples, and the cubs always want to feed together. The mothers are getting tetchy. Feeding together is important. As they grow up, the male cubs need to be able to form a coalition and win a territory. So the friendships formed in shared litters are key. After fighting for food, they fight some more, just for the fun of it. The little oddball is excluded. The teenagers play too, but their games are really rough. The misfit cub is used to being on his own.
The pride wanders off. He's forgotten by his mother, brothers and cousins, even by the teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> 